you see, uh, there was a panel here in the World Public Forum about religious minorities in the Arab world. And uh, we, were, we are referred to as a religious minority. I do not agree to this at all. It, uh, it's not a matter of numbers uh, to deal with the situation. We have been living uh, as Christians in Lebanon, in Palestine and in Syria, uh, and in Jordan and in uh, uh, Iraq and uh, Egypt, ever since the time of the apostles of Christ. I mean, Christ came to Lebanon, to the south of Lebanon, to Tyre and Sidon. And uh, we have been there from the time of Christ uninterrupted. So we are an indigenous part, a historical part of the region. And even before Islam came, the Christians were the majority. And uh, due to so many developments, this later on turned into a minority with respect to numbers. But we do not see ourselves as a minority. We see ourselves as citizens, as part of the countries we live in, and indigenous, and we plan to stay and go on. Now, uh, there are two types of dangers that uh, uh, are there. Um, there is a type that um, is making uh, everyone in the region who is moderate, uh, everyone who is uh, uh, maybe educated and things like that to reject what's happening because now the uh, danger of uh, Islamic fundamentalism is not only targeting the Christians it's targeting everyone who is not like them Sunnis, Shia or any other so everyone feels endangered by these people now, because the Christians are less in number, they feel the impact more. And sometimes, because they are the weak link, sometimes they are targeted more. So they feel the impact of the threat more, and uh, they are uncertain about the future. Uh, and this has led to painful uh, repercussions. For example, in, in Palestine, from the uh, foundation of the State of Israel in 1948, the uh, number of Christians has gone down from 38% to less than 2%. Uh, in Iraq, they have sharply decreased. Um, in Lebanon, they were the majority of the population when the country was established. Now, maybe they are not more than 35 to 40%. Uh, in Egypt, they uh, are maybe more than 10 million. In Jordan, they are decreasing, so they are feeling that um, they are not comfortable as much as before. But I call on them because I myself live in a Muslim area of Beirut and my parish is there. So uh, I do not plan to leave. I call on them as much as possible to cling to their land, to feel themselves that part of the, uh, uh, part of the country and to work with the moderate Muslims to create a force that will push the threat of fundamentalism away because it's threatening everyone. I do not agree to this. I do not agree. I think this is very dangerous stereotyping because, uh, um, I mean, um, if this is an absolute principle, we would have ceased to exist. The fact that we still exist in many parts of the Arab world. Now, of course, many times they were hostile, but not as a Muslim community. Perhaps either as a regime or as groups or as uh, whatever it is. I think that in general, Islam and Christianity have coexisted in a very toler tolerating manner throughout the centuries from the foundation of Islam until now. Uh, and uh, even in, in um, many uh, parts of the Muslim history like during the Umayyad period, the Abbasid period, the Christians were um, fundamentalists, fu fundamental in uh, making the shape of government, in helping in finance, in translation and everything. So I think that this stereotyping, if we insist on it, it becomes a dangerous rhetoric.